I was not given any insider information on that. I can't, I can't claim that as a win. I just speculated as a fan that they're absolutely going to drop a trailer with uh, the tickets going on sale. And it will end with the epic words, <laughs> tickets on sale now, to drive everybody crazy. And hot damn, they delivered. Now, look, I've been saying we're going to get a boom trailer, right? Yeah. I would call this quasi-boom. I'll say that this trailer is a quasi-boom trailer because do we see any action? No. Do we see... But they had the ultimate boom moment with Thanos speaking, coming down, and saying, and where has it led you? Back to me. Boom. That's a boom element. But overall, I wouldn't call it a boom trailer per se, but it was a fabulous trailer. Gave you a better idea of kind of the context that they're in. Oh, and by the way... The theories that we were all talking about that maybe Tony walking with them is a big misdirect. No, no, Tony's back. <laughs> Tony, yeah. Tony is firmly back and all that kind of stuff. On terra firma. On terra firma. Now, there are a few things for us to look at. Well, I mean, there's uh, them talking about the tickets crashing and all that kind of stuff. First of all, I want to talk about this picture. Wow, dude. This is a picture... That MCU fans have been waiting for a long time. One of my one of my uh, followers on Twitter said this scene made him shit himself <laughs> in the trailer. <laughs> which I thoroughly appreciated. I loved it. Now, one of the things that I will say though is that I don't think that picture of them standing that's not them for the first time reuniting. Right. No. 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 And they do the handshake. No. No. That's not the first time them reuniting. Like no, no chance. No way. Is that the first uh, time they're reuniting? But that's a really, I, I gotta bring it. It's so pretty, I gotta bring it up again. Look at that picture, man. D this, that We've been waiting for this since Civil War. We've been waiting for this since Civil War. And I also loved this shot. Now, oh. the aspect ratio, I, you can't see on the outside are Widow and, uh, and Hawkeye. Right. So they're cropped out of the shot. But Captain America, front and center, uh, you know I love that. So that's amazing. But something I wanna point out to you guys about this trailer that a lot of people are missing. And I think this could be very, very relevant, okay? I We have been speculating that the Avengers, what's left of them, will confront Thanos in the first act of the movie. Yeah. I don't believe that anything we just saw in that trailer was the climax of the film. Nope. I don't believe that was from... The, the end of the movie, I think that's all in the first act of the film. And here's something intriguing. I just shared this with you when you got here. Mm -hmm. Notice something. One of the things Rob and I have been theorizing is that they will get to Thanos. He'll, they'll either talk or they'll fight it out and try to get Thanos to undo the snap. And he tells them, the gauntlet don't work. I, I can't undo the snap. Even if I wanted to, which I don't. I can't undo the snap, and that will create all the sadness and the depression for the yeah. Avengers and all that kind of stuff. So I want you to pay attention to something that's in this trailer. I don't know why I didn't get a screenshot of it, but you can go back and watch the trailer yourself. You remember in Infinity War, when Ma and what's the, the big Hulk guy's name from the Black Order again? I, I remember Corvius Glaive. Yeah, Corvius Glaive, Ebony Maw, Midnight. Um, Proxima Midnight. Proxima Midnight. And, and, uh, um, why am I drawing? I, I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, Ma comes down. And he uses like a Star Trek beaming down blue shimmering light yeah. thing that come down. When Thanos appears in this trailer, he didn't use the space stone. With that purple thing where you can... Yeah, go. that we're opening a portal and he just appears. He didn't use that. He beamed down. Now, I might be reading way too much into this, but I look at that picture and I say, Gauntlet ain't working. Out of order. Please come back tomorrow. So I'm thinking this kind of goes to support this theory that we have that this all happens in the first. But I don't know. You, I explained that my thought to you this morning. No, I, I, did you I, I, I agree with you. But you know what? This trailer made me realize. It made me realize that there's a scene coming in this movie that I'm really looking forward to. Tony Stark meeting Rocket Raccoon. <laughs> because he hasn't met him. Mm -hmm. Like, what's Tony Stark going to say when he first sees Ro And what is the response that Rocket is going to have, because Tony Stark is going to say something snarky. Something yeah. that's going to put Rocket down, and Rocket's going to have a comeback. I can't wait for that moment. And he's going to make some kind of, yeah, I met Quill. Not the sharpest knife in the drawer, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's I, Another really interesting shot that I thought was really nice. 
and I wasn't expecting it. A really nice little shot of Rocket and Nebula. Yeah. Sitting down, commiserating. And I got a feeling that shot is after they find out they can't get Thanos to undo anything. But holding hands, uh, the, the flying the Milano or the next iteration of the Milano to confront Thanos and Captain Marvel. The, was, the Benatar. The Benatar, that's the right. Benatar. It's the Benatar now. Yeah. Uh, Captain Marvel piloting the ship taking them there and then I guess they go back down to the planet to confront the, I, I don't know there was so much in this one minute spot to unpack but I, what were some of the other things that really like made you go whoa what, well, like, yeah, well what is- just I mean I have to say that that handshake between we, so good. I, I love when they shook do you trust me and he just the earnestness yes. the, the Chris Evans I do mm-hmm. I mean come on how can you not love that that conversation I mean I don't know why he would trust Tony, because Tony's pretty much screwed up for the last like, 10 movies. But, <laughs> yeah. but, you know, yeah, let's try and build armor around the world again. Not a good idea. It didn't really work. <laughs> it's never worked. But okay. You Here's know, a new shield, Cap. I built you a new shield. Oh, I trust you. You know what's funny? Uh, yesterday, one of the Super Chats came in. And somebody said, hey, you know, how foolish do you think the Avengers feel now? Because Tony wanted to build a set of armor around the world. Right. And now they're all realizing he was right. And I was like... Time out. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> Do you remember what happened when he tried to build his shield around the world? He didn't own, he, Tony didn't, wasn't responsible for almost wiping out half of humanity. <laughs> right. <laughs> he was almost, he almost caused an extinction level event that nearly wiped out all of humanity. Yes, he did. I don't think any of the Avengers sitting around going, huh, Tony, wow, it turns out you were right. No, that, that, that didn't happen. But nope. it was an interesting thought nonetheless. What else happens in this trailer? We see them all hanging out in um, Avengers headquarters. They reshow that shot of uh, Thor getting Stormbreaker. Right. Whizzing by Captain Marvel's hands. Uh, yeah, still no sign in the trailers of Okoye, of Hong, of Valkyrie, although she has popped up on the right. posters. And, and we don't see Captain Marvel doing anything. We don't really see any of them doing anything. No, I didn't, really. but she's not in costume. Like, she's not with the rest of the team. When she was piloting the ship? Oh, oh, right, right. I think she was. But, okay, but right, that right. was just brief. Yeah, yeah, that, that was, was just brief. brief. I don't know. There's some absolutely stunningly great stuff in this. Still not, you know, I was predicting a boom right, me too. trailer. And it, I, I would say this is not a boom trailer, but it had more boom. I sound like Black Eyed Peas now, boom, boom, boom. But it's, you know what, it's emotional. It's yeah. emo- yeah, what yeah. They, they, They've taken the right... Look, I told you no marketing. And you're like, no, they have to have trailers. And you're right. <laughs> they have to have trailers. But I, I, what I love about this is that we're, we're, it, they're, they're tugging at our heartstrings. And the reason this marketing works is because we love these people. Yeah. Like, every time you see a new, like, like, like oh, I'm thinking, I just want to see Rocket talk to Tony Stark. Yeah. Like, when would I have ever thought that in a superhero movie, I just want to see two characters meet and see what they say. I mean, that's how much I'm invested in these characters and in these people. And I'm just, oh, I'm even more excited. I'm so excited to see this movie. And I cannot believe that I'm seeing it in two weeks, three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. We're all going to be watching it. We're all going to be losing our minds. Now, 